Last week on Stoked On Fishing, our gang hooked up with Goose Lodge, which is located on the biggest lake in Alaska, Lake Iliamna. Coming into this Alaskan adventure for your first time is an unbelievable experience. Everything in Alaska is massive and giant. The scenery alone is like living in a make-believe postcard where the sun never sets and you can fish all day long. One thing that can change fast is the weather. Mother Nature is in charge up here, and she decides where and when you get to go fishing. Today, we're back on the beautiful waters of the Iliamna River, fishing for some feisty rainbow trout and some aggressive Arctic char. The excitement of it all. It's hard to sleep the day before. Sunshine, fresh air, and a camaraderie. You can't beat it. You can't! Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Akuma Fishing Tackle, delivering more than just fishing gear, Akuma delivers the inspiration and motivation to hit the water. And by Simi Valley View with GMC, Southern California's family owned and operated dealership who is stoked on fishing. And by Reconte Hot Sauce, Pura Vita in a bottle. The flavor revolution has begun and Reconte is here to fill the void with an epic lineup of hot sauces direct from Costa Rica. Oh my god, look at the, 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 Jesus. Look at this. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely beautiful. It's uh, something like I've never ever seen before or experienced. And yesterday, it's just the ice, and the, it was just a hint of what we're, we're seeing here. So, shoot up the uh, bank with the boat, post it, and then just start fishing. So. Stoked on fishing, take two. Stoked on Alaska, JT, go. Oh, gotcha. Mm. Yeah, baby, come on now. Oh. It's on. Dude. Beautiful, thank you. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Holy cow, we got a little break in the weather. It's not raining, so we're able to take some pretty killer shots of this place, but holy mackerel, look at this. I mean. So what we're gonna go do is we're gonna fish this bank right over here. Oh gosh, this thing's getting bit. Got the proper equipment. All right, here we go. Just working it like a crappie jig. Nice. Oh, there he is. Son. Oh! That is a nice one. You see that jump? Woo! Wow. 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 Oh, uh, looks like a nice rainbow. Woo! Nice Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. What did you tell me? That little crappie jig. Remember the little black jig you gave me last night? Yeah. Look at this fish. Woo! It's okay for no rush. Okay. All right, we're ready here. I'll bring him on. Ah, 
let her drop back. There you go, Shay. Don't try to pull it forward, Shay. Use the river to your advantage. Dude, they don't stop. They just don't stop. Yeah, 23. Two, oh, three. 23, yeah. Yep. When you're dealing with these fish, this is a very special opportunity to take care of the fish. And you're mentioning above, you know, always do it over the water. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, these fish aren't just young bucks. It takes a lot of years to produce big rainbows like that. So what we like to do is do all the catch and release in the water. So if you have any situation where at least you not have the fish plop out on the bank and, uh, and you know, causing harm or damage to the fish. So yep. We like to do it over the water, like use the rubber nets, of course. Um, you're protecting the resource, that's, you but, know, it, it's gonna, if you don't do that way, then it's gonna suffer. And You've been dealing with this, uh, these two for how long now? Seven, eight years? Oh golly, I think it's been more than that, more, more like that. 10, yeah. yeah more than really? Like six, two or something like that. Yeah. Wow. 2002, 2003. So, yeah, you know, we dangled the watch in front of them and said, you will so come you back want, every year. You will want to come back <laughs> when you come. Yeah. It's obviously worked. And, oh, no. Oh, goodness. I see a big old bend in that rod. Yeah. <laughs> little. Little is relative to that ain't little. <laughs> <laughs> nice scoop. Nice. Marga getting it done on the fly rod. Okay. Come out? Yep. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, Oh, he's ready to go. Oh, Had a girl. Had a girl. <laughs> Marty, where did you say for the spinner the guys to go? They're all going to be downstream here. Okay. Go below Jimmy just to fuzz. Okay. Wow, oh, look at this. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. Well, there's some wolf tracks. And this epic Sims gear that they sent us epic epic allows me to do this Whee! and walk right on up through here dry as can be yeah jt get him hey buddy third like cast it. a nice little uh looks like a 25 26 inch <laughs> char here so stoked on fishing as we say look at this thing oh hey, my big goodness oh, oh my that is a big goodness. one oh. Get you on See the fins? How they're oh, changing they're color? Cool. Yep. Soon those will be bright, bright red. See and they're the turning pink. Really? Yeah, they're turning pink down here and more silver. That? And that'll be bright, bright red. No, these spawn, but oh, these don't die, right do they? No. Yeah. They stick around. You're ready to go get you. Got a sandbar right there. An eddy right here. Let's just see if we can pop it right over this. Oh, something's gonna bite. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he's hot. He's hot. Oh, there he goes. Whoa, he's hot. He's not a monster, but he's a good star. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Oh, another epic rainbow. Nice. Woo wee. Look at how pretty the thing is. Uh, I think you're okay. Wow, look at that. That's a rainbow. That is a rainbow. Yeah. There's something up here in the end of the tree. It's nice to have a stomach. Yeah. There we go. All right. Another. You, you are the rainbow man. Dude. We are going to We are gonna designate you. Oh, this guy's been. Let me give it a shot. That would be considered about average. There you go. There you go. Good work. Now, awesome. one thing I'll show you about, but you can see just how on the end of that, see that little oh, orange yeah. tip? Uh-huh. The 
the Iliana system rainbows, that usually is a little more defined. Okay. But that is something that I think is fairly unique to these fish. Awesome. Oh, you want to... That's okay. I'll just go. He's awesome. Look, they just don't stop. It's no. awesome. It's no. awesome. All right, buddy, come on. We're going to let you go here. Here we go. Come on. Okay. There you go. There you go. And away you go. Good job yes. there. Let him do it. Let him go. Let him go. Oh. How much? How much? Just let him go. Let him go. There you go. Just stop the boat real quick. Why? Because we just saw a big massive pot of fish. <laughs> <laughs> and it's sitting right there. Yeah. Huh. Oh yeah. Wow. Right beside us. Wow. Well, get a couple of days of no rain, you get to sight fish and see some fish out here, yeah. don't you? That's right. Yeah. Something special right there. That's it. Oh, you can see them right there, yep. Side wow. One, alien. two, three, four, five. So they're just lined up. Yeah, clear down around. The yeah. That's something. Just gotta love it. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job, Brad. Well done. Well done. Some fly fishing. Yep. So, I mean, again, I just switched to a back to a six weight. What was your tippet again? Did oh, my tippet tip? uh, on the end of the, your your line here. I just put six to eight feet of not even six or seven feet eight feet of maximum green this is 10 pound throw what you know is going to get bit and this stuff works so well up here for years and years and years and these guys all swear by maximum green so that's all you need that's what i'm using that's right brother all right basically what stan and the boys are throwing right now whether it's a fly rod or a spinning rod it doesn't matter you can take your choice whatever you want to do that's what's so great about it up here is either or it doesn't matter. 
Montana fly though is a badass little fly and it's black and it's like an oversized crappie jig but it's a hair jig with a little bit of weight on it so it allows you to cast it and uh, it's just a little bit of a weapon out here and these guys have been wailing on it and you'll see I'm gonna throw a couple casts and uh, we'll get a couple so there's fish lined up all over the Love that. <laughs> I go none. Oh, whoa, 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 you little sucker. Ooh, ow. Hey, is that thing going? I hope it's rolling. Yeah, it is. All right, I got a, I got a little system going here. Uh-oh, right there, perfect. Get you this time. Oh, I got a hole, baby. I got a honey hole. Well, it was a littler guy, but oh yeah. Oh, he ain't bad either. Oh, that's a good one. Right Another 20-incher. Some strong is. Here comes him. Look at that thing. Whoa. That thing is beautiful. Goodness! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. He cranked that thing. Is there? Good job, Shay. On the fun stuff. On the fun stuff. Wow. Wow, look at this thing. Oh wow. There you go, there you go. Alright, it's a haul off. Oh, he's a hook job too. Sweet. Big old man. Ooh, boy, look at that. Mm. <laughs> he's big. Very wow. nice. He, he just ate that thing. Damn. See that? Yeah. That is a meat eater, dude, right there. Yeah. Boom. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, he is feisty. He's getting anxious. Yeah, he's getting anxious. He wants out. Yeah. Let's move over to the sandbar. <laughs> Let's go to where the fish aren't biting. <laughs> You're right there. You saw that old thing, didn't you? This way. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a good one out there. Uh, oh! Yeah. Tell me you got that. Oh. <laughs> All nice ones, man.
That's when perfect. we built here, we were looking for a place we can actually get over the coast to the, to the ocean and fish on that side because there's a road up here. Uh -huh. So we tried to go where the fish were, then work branch out from there. Okay, so far, so good. You, you, know, that whole, right. uh, you know, the whole thing is you you can you can fish in, in many different areas and 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 travel all over. But you got to have that that level of comfort, you know. We 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 can't mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we can't uh, we can't do anything about the weather. We can't do anything about the okay. fish. But you know, if you're comfortable, warm, dry, full belly, and had fun, you know that that that's what we're hoping for. You know, that's that's really what we what we strive to accomplish. Well, I know we're pacing and we keep pacing and we keep pacing. Why are we pacing? We're gonna take a plane to, what is the name of this place? Portage Creek. Portage Creek. Portage Sam. Creek. And we're gonna go king salmon fishing now. So For our first time. First time Let's ever. Let's get that straight. Never done this You before. and I have never even caught a king Don't salmon. Don't know what we're gonna do yet. But no, we're going. but this guy does. There's the man right there. Well, he's yes. been up here a few times, so he, he's been through this before. This is this is one of Margaret's one of my favorite things. It's just tons of fun, because you we're flying out to the far west end of Alaska. You're about 16 miles in from uh, Bristol Bay sounds like the guys from Dangerous Catch. 16 miles from Bristol Bay, but we'll be up the river up to the Nushikak, Portage Creek. That's where we land, and then they take the boats. They'll come and get us, and we fish <clears throat> actually up the river to where we're going to be staying in the in the King Salmon Lodge, which is about the size of a garage <laughs> that they yeah. built up. And there. that's Marty's, right? That's, that's Marty's place. Okay. That's that's the Goose King Salmon Camp. Okay. So we'll be fishing out of there for today and tomorrow and maybe catch your first king salmon. They and just they had 8,000 of them run through the gates yesterday that counted, and that means that fishing should be pretty doggone good. So hey. it's he just got that news too, right, yeah, like 10 minutes ago. The news so that back to your for, pacing thing, that's why yeah, we're pacing. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> we're, waiting, we're, we're waiting for the clouds to kind of lift so we can fly out there and, and the winds to die down, but we have the opportunity now, so we're, we're going to go and we have our Bug Stopper Sims shirts on, and we got the Bug Stopper buffs that you guys have. And thank you for Sims for all of the gear because uh, these guys found out this is what you need to have when you're up here. It's right. mandatory. Do not, yeah, do not skimp on yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Get the right stuff. And their gear, we have proven in the last couple of days. Yes, we have. It is worthy, and you stay dry. And <laughs> all thumbs up. Oh, thank you, Sims from yes. Soaked on Fishing and JT for sure. Man, all their gear works the best. Period. We've That's dealt with some serious thing. elements, but if you have the right gear, the elements, all uh, the time. It's, it, you can deal with it. Oh. All right, so off to our next adventure, gentlemen. Off That's to the it. Nushigak. Let's do the it. Nushigak. Let's do it. Stoked on Fishing is brought to you by Simrad, the world's most trusted fish finding electronics, marine equipment, and navigational solutions. Simrad, go with confidence. And by Akuma Fishing Tackle, delivering more than just fishing gear, Akuma delivers the inspiration and motivation to hit the water. And by Simi Valley View with GMC, Southern California's family owned and operated dealership who is stoked on fishing. And by Ricante Hot Sauce, Pura Vida in a bottle. The flavor revolution has begun, and Ricante is here to fill the void with an epic lineup of hot sauces direct from Costa Rica.